I want to talk about decluttering kids' rooms. Yeah. And I often encourage parents to do it when the kids are not there. Yeah. It's like go in and, and to, to, to do a, a decluttering and, and there's some, some guidelines and stuff in, inside mindful parenting when the kids are not there. What do you think about that? So, I, I mean, I agree with you. I think that that is definitely an angle oh. that you can take, especially depending on, I did it today, actually. I did oh. it when my daughter was at kindergarten. All that to say, I do think that as your child gets older, it's really yeah. important to include them because I don't want to have minimalism have the adverse effect to where they become little hoarders and their teenage years into their college years, into their adulthood, because mommy has been so sneaky. And what am I going to not have here when I get home from school or from my friend's house? So do you see how that could kind yeah, of backfire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That said, I also have a three-year-old, so he is at his tantrum stage and sometimes it's just easier to go in there and swoop in. And the majority of what I was doing with my daughter while she was at kindergarten today were, was artwork. She is so creative and she loves to paint and draw. And every night that's what she does before she goes to bed. So I was just going in there and pulling out some of that stuff that she's, she does a lot of repeat drawing. So just pulling out some of that stuff that she doesn't necessarily, she won't necessarily miss or like have that attachment to, but with her like dolls or her books, I'm going to include her just because she's almost seven years old. And I feel like it's important to give her that authority over her things. But I definitely agree with you. Like I, 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 I think there's room to be in there on your own too. Yeah. I think there's an age thing. Definitely. Yeah. Like when you have, you know, five and under or whatever, you know, yeah. there's, there's a, there's space. And then what I've always found is the, the kids come home and they're like, Oh my God, it's so nice. I love it. And I just want to play like even more with the fewer things that they have there, mm -hmm. um, which it's, sometimes it's hard for people to believe that that happens, but, but I bet you've seen that too. Oh yeah. And I think that Charlotte is definitely one of those kids, but yeah, I think it's more my fear as they get older that I don't want it to backfire. That's my, yeah, my yeah, big yeah, thing. Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm already starting to see that tendency in her with just my, my, I can be pretty extreme with my minimalism sometimes. So yeah, I just, I'm cautious, but again, age, personality, um, your dynamic with your children. I think that all those things probably need to be considered before you just go in there. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at mindfulmamamentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.